This video is another subscriber request. We will go over corner patterns and T patterns and we'll use them together in a couple of uh, situations here. This um, was requested by subscriber George. Thank you for the request. And uh, I've, I've been I've gotten a, quite a few requests lately and I'm I've been quite busy so if I haven't gotten to you yet I'm sorry. Uh, but hopefully I can get to you soon. So George requested that I solve this puzzle. First of all, we'll do a couple of easy numbers. There's a three there. There's a one here. This one's not as easy. And we're going to use this corner pattern and this T pattern to find a one right here. So we've got a 1 going through the T here, so the 1 is constrained to column 1 there. And we've got a 1 and a 3 here. And with this corner pattern, we know these are 1, 3 twins. So we have ghost 1s, ghost 1s, a 1 and a 1, so we know that's a 1. Alright, and then we've got a 2 here, 2 here, 2 here. So we have a 2 there. And also a 2 here. We'll use this corner pattern here and this T pattern to find a 2 right here. We've got a 2 and a 5 going through the T right here. So these are two 5 twins. And then we've got a ghost, um, a 2 here. So one of these has to be a 2 because of this corner pattern. So we know that's a 2. And then we've got a 2, 2, 2, 2, so that's a 2 right there. Alright, now we've got a, a 9 right here. We're, we'll use this corner pattern. We actually find two sets of twins here because of this corner pattern. Uh, I mentioned the 1 here. There are 1 and 3 here, so these are 1, 3 twins. And we've got a 5 here and an 8 here, so these are 5, 8 twins. So the only number left in this box is a 9 that goes right there. Okay, we can't solve the sets of twins yet, but we know that that's the only number left. Alright, and now um, using this T pattern here, we know these are 2, 5 twins, because the 2 and 5 go through there. So what's left here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Four, seven, and nine. Uh, we can't solve those, but what does that leave? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Three, six, and eight. So that's a three or a six. There's a three and a six there, so we know that's an eight. Right there. And remember our 5, 8 twins we found there? We can solve them now with that 8 right there. All right, and again, um, we have 3 and 6, 3, 6 twins here that we can't solve yet. Um, but because of this uh, T pattern here and knowing these, these twins right there, 7 is constrained to row 8 here, so these can't be 7. We got a 7 and a 7 there, so we know that's a 7. And um, because of the uh, Ghost 7's box 9, in box 9, we, we know that's a 7. And we know this is a 3 here because we've got a 3 here, so that can't be a 3. We've got a 3 here, and we have 1, 3 twins there, so ghost 3 is there, so that can't be a 3, so that's a 3 right there. Alright, so making good progress, and then we had 3, 6 twins there, so we know that's a 6, because we have 4, 7, 9 triplets there. Alright, now... Um, We've got a 3 right here, because we've got a 3 there, 3 there, 3 there. So we know that's a 3. 
and we know this is a 4. I'll show you why. We've got a 4 here, 4 here, so one of these is a 4. We've got a T pattern here with a 4 right here, so the 4 is constrained to row 2 right here. So the 4 in box 2 has to be here, here, or here. The 4 in box 5 has to be here or here. Using double column elimination, we know the 4 has to be in this column in this box. So we know that's a 4 right there. All right. And now we have three 5 twins here. Because we've got a, a 5 9s right here. So we've got a 5 there, 5, and a 5 there. So one of these is a 5, a 3, 3, and 3 here, so one of these is a 3. So with these three 5 twins, we know these are 4 and 9. we got a 9 there, so we can fill those in. All right, now let's look at column 4. What are we missing? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 8, and 9. Well, there's a 6 and a 9, so that's an 8 right there. There's a 9 there, so we know that's a 6, and that's a 9 right there. All right, and now we just have 4 and 8 left in box 2, and with that 8, we can finish those. All right, and with this 8, we've got 8, 8, 7, 7, so these are 7, 8 twins right there. Got an 8 there, so we can solve those, fill those in. All right, and then we've got a, uh, let's see. Four, six, six, six. So we have um, with this six here, we've got one six twins here now. Yes, go sixes, six. One of these is a six. With that six there, we know that's a six right there. And uh, we've got so one six twins here. And that leaves one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, four, five, and nine there. There's a five and a nine, so that's a four. There's a five, so that's a nine. We, we had four nine twins left here, so we know that's a four. And uh, put puts a five there. All right, so we have the four and the six there. What are we missing here? Two and nine. We got two there, so that's a nine, that's a two. All right, we have five nine left in box eight here. With the nine there, we can finish those. Now we have these three fives here and one threes here. We can't finish those yet. Let's see, what else are we missing here? All right, we only got an, one number left in these two rows. We know there are two and five. So we put the two there and the five there. All right, and then we have the four, seven, nine here. And with this seven here, we have ghost sevens there with this corner pattern here, seven, seven, so with seven, seven, so we know that's a seven right there. And these are four and nine, so we can finish those. All right, let's look at box three. We're missing one and five here, so we can fill those in. And we're missing four, six, and nine. There's a 4 and a 9 there, so these are 4 9, that's a 6. 
So that's a 4 and that's a 9 because of that 9 there. All right, now what's this number? We got 143 here, 143 and 926, 926, that's a 6. All right, now what are we missing here? 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 8. 5 and an 8 there, so that's a 7. Uh, there's an 8 there, so that's a 5 and an 8. All right. Now we can solve our 3 5's here and our 1 3's there. So 3 5 twins, 1 3 twins. We have a 1 and a 6 there that we can finish. And we're just missing 1 6 7 here. 1 7 6. So 1 there, 7 and 1. And we're done. All right. A little, a bit of a tricky puzzle, but uh, using patterns and the techniques that we're um, familiar with, we got it pretty, pretty easily. Uh, if you're not familiar with the T pattern or the corner pattern or other patterns or the, some of the techniques that I've been using, go to SudokuPrimer.com, and uh, there's lots of write-ups about techniques and patterns and lots of other Sudoku stuff. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.